Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Yesterday I made a video about the first few standard tournament results and I figured it deserved a bit more follow-up. As always, don't forget to pick up your zero damage gaming playmats at the link in the description. Use the code REBOOT to get 10% off. I made my standard tournament video yesterday going over the Royal Paladin top, some OTT news and some Nova Grappler stuff, but the question in the comment section was of course, where is Kagero? Well, at the time of the video, Kagero had a single top in a 6 player player shop tournament. Not much to really talk about. However, by now, two more tournaments with decent player capacity showed up. The Truck Hater, or whatever you want to call it, Vanguard Championship. Now, according to Vanguardus, this tournament had a maximum capacity of 64 participants, but I don't immediately see the actual amount of attendees. It is, however, said to have been the largest standard format tournament so far, so the attendance should have been solid. The winner of said tournament was a Kagero deck, so for all of you who were afraid Kagero would be bad, it's really not. Apart from that, some American players have been doing heavy playtesting, Supporting Kagero having the highest win rates of all decks. This is in heavy contrast with what Japanese shop tournament results were suggesting, apart from the Tracator Championship. I guess we'll need slightly more time to see what deck is actually gonna be coming out on top, but at least Kagero isn't totally in the mud as some people were fearing in the comment section. I do like this a lot because it's basically showing that the four clans are quite well balanced against each other. All of them seem to work well and different people are getting very different results. Results. I guess that can also be explained by RNG or luck having a bigger impact than ever in the standard format. Second place of the track hater, I'm ruining that name so hard, <laughs> Vanguard Championship was Nova Grappler. As mentioned in my previous video, many people in the Japanese metagame seem to believe this is the stronger deck of the four. What's interesting about this Nova list is that it's running three different grade 3s, I guess to increase imaginary gift chances. I saw this being done in another Royal Paladin list before as well. Speaking of Royal Paladin, the third place was a Royal Paladin deck. Not really much to be said. It looks to be quite a cookie cutter list. There was another tournament which only had 12 players where this Kagero deck got first place. Finally, whoa there's so many tournaments, <laughs> there was one more tournament called Big Magic where Oracle Think Tank took first place. Again we see the typical 4 Silent Tom, 4 Magus. We also see the higher grade 3 counts as I explained in my previous video. This is something Oracle Think Tank can easily pull off. One different thing about this list is that it runs 4 Imperial Daughter and 3 Amaterasu rather than the other way around. We had been seeing this in quite some lists already. That is all for today. Hope you found this helpful. If you did and you want to help me, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to stay up to date. Like the video and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Which clan will you be playing when the Q4 booster rolls around? Don't forget to pick up your zero damage giving playmats at the link in the description. Use the code REBOOT to get 10% off and I will see you soon. Ciao!